Hello, everyone. Welcome to yet another Dark Side Chat with the Center for Coastal Studies. Uh, I'm Rich Delaney. I'm the president of the Center for Coastal Studies, and uh, I hope you all are doing well at home, uh, safe and sound, and um, sheltering in place comfortably and productively. I can tell you uh, our folks here at the center are remote, working very well remotely. They've adapted to that new situation, being very productive in and beyond that. We've had some essential field studies and field work and research going on uh, that has been successful. Uh, in fact, this past Saturday, we actually had six operations going on uh, out in the water and around Cape Cod. So, so we're doing the best we can to continue with our mission of uh, saving oceans and coasts. And uh, we thank you for your interest and your support. Um, some of you who may not have uh, met us before uh, or may have only heard of us as an organization that uh, is interested in whales, populations, and endangered species of whales. I just want to assure you, we do a whole range of sort of multidisciplinary ecosystem-based research, all of which is necessary to protect the oceans and coasts. So uh, you'll hear more about those in our chats coming up in the future. But today, I would like to focus on the whales. Uh, they're very special to us. Uh, we have um, been particularly focused on perhaps the most endangered large whale species in the world, the uh, North Atlantic right whale. And uh, we're very fortunate, blessed, I guess you would say, in that it, the majority of the population comes into Cape Cod Bay at this time of year. And beyond that, we're very fortunate to have uh, a, a scientist, of actually one of our founders, who has been focusing on right whale research uh, for almost the entire 46 years that the Center for Coastal Studies has been here. So I'd like today to introduce you to Dr. Charles Stormy Mayo and ask you, Stormy, for the latest update on how you're conducting your field operations, what about the costs that are out there today or recently, and, and where we go from here. So go ahead, please, Stormy. Thanks, Rich. Um, well, this has been a difficult time. It often is a difficult time. Uh, working with endangered species, but uh, the restrictions on our uh, ability to get out into the field, given the COVID-19 issue has made it a lot tougher, but we have been able to get out. Um, uh, we, we fly uh, both our aircraft and uh, take out our boat uh, as often as we can these days. Uh, we have had uh, recently some uh, really, um, really important sightings in Cape Cod Bay just in the last several days and have reported them widely. Uh, we had uh, the first sightings uh, in high latitudes here in, in the Gulf of Maine of uh, two little babies, uh, the, uh, the calf of Harmonia and the calf of Palmetto. So the, uh, the story is, uh, is a mixed one though, because although we've had 10 calves born, and that's pretty good, um, it's not nearly good enough to keep up with the mortalities as best we can tell. So we think probably the population is down to about 400 animals remaining, and most of them come to Cape Cod Bay. Hopefully um, our work will continue to contribute uh, directly to protecting the wh whales, both, uh, both from the work we do with management, uh, letting scientists and conservationists know when the whales are here and where they are. And of course, with the disentanglement team, uh, we find whales that are entangled and the disentanglement team uh, cuts them free. Um, I'm happy to say we're still working and uh, and we are still collecting information and we'll hope the mothers and calves are out there right now um, eating a lot. Stormy, thank you very much. That was terrific. And uh, thank you to yourself and, and your crew for all the hard work and passionate work they do to help uh, that highly endangered uh, right whale species survive. Uh, we wish you well. And uh, if you, the listeners and our audience and our friends would like to learn more about uh, the right whale work and the rest of our operations here at the center, please visit our website, www.coastalstudies.org, our Facebook page. Uh, there is lots more going on and we're happy to stay in touch with you that way. And then I hope we will gather again at our next dark side chat a week from now, same time, same place, when we'll have uh, 
Owen Nichols, who is our Director of Marine Fisheries Research, talking about his fascinating work with squid and with designing kind of fishing gear that's less destructive to the ocean bottom and a whole raft of other things. So until then, be safe, uh, stay in touch, and uh, thank you for joining us today. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.